Hey, Sean. Uh, Mike Kay from the Charlotte Observer. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you doing, Mike? I'm doing well. Good. So I wanted to ask you, given your playing career and how long you've been <clears throat> coaching in this league, is there a specific thing you look for in every wide receiver, whether they're an X, Y, Z, no matter their body type? Is there a specific characteristic you look for in every wide receiver? Yeah, but, you know, first of all, you know, I think, you know, playing a receiver position, they got to be able to catch. So that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a main trait right there I'm looking for. But as but, but far as uh, uh, some of the other traits I look for, you know, hey, how competitive are they? You know what I'm saying? Are they a self-starter? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't, I don't want to have a guy here that I have to kick in the butt, you know what I'm, sa- you know what I'm saying, every day, you know, to get, to get started. I want, I want go-getters. I want fast starters. And so that's the main thing. If they're, starter, if they're, if they're self-starters and they're, and they're co- competitors, and, and, and uh, we can teach them to do the technique and the fundamentals that we want them to do. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Nick, we'll go over to you. Coach, Nick Carboni from NBC in Charlotte. Thanks for the time today. Um, what Thank are your you, Nick. Early impressions, what are your early impressions of Mingo, and, and what were your interactions like with him during the pre-draft process? Early impressions uh, with this kid is uh, he was everything that, that we thought during the interview process at the Combine and – and um, here on the 30 visit, uh, he's intact. He's very mature for his age, um, um, very, very smart. He picked things up well. He's a fast processor. Um, so, so everything right now um, that we saw throughout the whole process is, is, is on par with what we're seeing. Um, again, this kid is a self-starter. He's tough. He fits, the, uh, fits our outfit, offense perfect. Um, um, and I'm, I'm excited for this kid, and, and uh, he is too. He's one of those kids that uh, he can't get enough. Uh, late nights and stuff like that, he'll he'll give a call, give you a text like, "Hey, I need to go over this real quick." And you know, he he wants to know. And then one of the things that we talk about in our room is find out before you get found out. You know what I'm saying? So he's doing a lot of finding right now. So I, um, um, the sky's the limit for this kid. I'm just um, just blessed to be working with him. All right, David Newton, and uh, Joe Person, please. Hey, Coach David Newton, ESPN. Uh, How you doing? I want to ask you. Uh, how does Paris Marshall Jr. fit in your group? Because he's a guy that's really never uh, kind of lived up the billing uh, last couple of years. Right. So just to give you a little example of where we are right now, uh, we, are a, we are a group that's under construction right now. Okay? We're under construction. That means everybody. We're under construction right now. We're trying to get the offense implemented um, and everything like that. So right now we're in the building process. Uh, we're in the land clearing process of this phase here. So we're, we're – we're through clearing the land right now. We're trying to, you know, try, you know, what I'm saying, planting the seeds on, on of the offense and trying to get this thing up, uh, uh, up to snuff. So what we're what we're doing, we're just trying to set the base foundation of of our offense and what we're going to be in that receiver group. So right now, you know, everybody's right now we're in learning mode and they're trying to get used to what we what we want them to do for us, an offense and everything like that. But I can tell you tell you this, he's a skilled receiver and and I'm I'm happy to be coaching him. I'm looking forward to to his future going forward. And how do you? Uh, Yeah, I, I think I think right now what we're doing. I told you we're, we're, we're right now we're building. So right now we're finding that out. We're finding it out what guys can do. And as part of our job as coaches, you know what I'm saying, to put it out there and see what these guys can do. Then we can start building the blocks of how we want them, plug them in where they, where we want to be, uh, where do they fit best. Uh, according to how the uh, to their talent uh, skill set. You know, one last thing uh, we got to ask about Bryce uh, Young and the receiver is going to be always good as a quarterback getting the ball to him. What are your impressions so far, and, and how the rookie is, is handled everything, and how his processing is going to be able to help run this offense from the get go? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm not I'm not his his coach. I'll leave that up to Josh. But uh, what I've seen so far. Uh, pretty amazing, uh, pretty amazing. Kid's a fast processor. Um, he's a throw of the ball, and uh, like I say, um, that's I'll leave it at that. I'm just I'm happy, and like I say, I'm blessed uh, to be the receiver coach uh, uh, on this team with him being the uh, quarterback. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Sean, Pete, the Joe person with the Athletic. Welcome, Charlotte. How are you? I'm great. Good. Uh, I 
I, 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 that's a pretty broad question. Um, I think it all depends on what our offense entails. Uh, uh, entails. Um, what are we asking them to do? And, and just like I told the gentleman before me, right now we're in the, we're in the land clearing, probably trying to set the foundation uh, uh, process in the offense, trying to figure out what can they do best so we can put them in positions uh, uh, to, to be successful. You know, it's, it's our job is to put them in the, in the right position according to their skill set uh, um, to what our offense calls for. Now, um, that being said, we put no limits on, on anybody. They, they have to know all the positions and everything like that. We want well-grooved receivers, receivers that knows all the positions so we can plug and play them in different positions and, and uh, want to keep the defense off guard. I don't want the defense to look at Thielen and be like, he's going to play an F, or uh, Terrence Moe, he's going to be there. So right now, again, we're in the building blocks of this thing. You know, we're, 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 we're under construction, so I'm moving pieces daily, trying to put them here, see, see, see where their, their skill set best fits them in the offense. Yeah. Sorry. But, sir, do you like the idea, uh, Sean, that these guys could potentially play multiple spots for you? Absolutely. I think that's – uh, one of our things uh, on offense, we want to be, we want to be different. You know what I'm saying? We want to go against the grain. We just don't want to be uh, just just stagnant where people can say, okay, we know they're gonna play here, there, there. I want to move these guys around. I think it's a advantage to us, and we're all about putting stress on the defense. You know what I'm saying? If we got these guys in multiple positions, they don't know who's getting this ball because what defenses typically do, they'll say, okay, he's the X, he's the D. They see these type formations, and we know they're doing that. They're doing that. But we don't want to be that. We want to be multiple. We want to cause some stress to the defense. So, and again, I, I, I keep going back to this. We're in the construction. We're, we're playing with these pieces daily, seeing where they best fit. And in and, um, and the next coming week, doing these OTAs, I think we'll have a better idea. So, over to uh, Mike Hayden back. How are you, sir? Hey, me again. Yes. Um, so, I know you, you, you want to speak generally because you're figuring it out, but. Historically, Mingo and Marshall both have X quality, size, speed that you typically look for. I'm just curious, do you feel like you have enough at that position to kind of take on press, you know, on a week to week basis because of the size and the options that you do have? Yeah, well, I, you know, I know you say they both have X like quality, but that depends on, you know, how do we see them as? You know what I'm saying? Uh, S can play. Uh, 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 a Z is basically a glorified X, and an X is basically a glorified Z. Now, the Z may be asked to do a little bit more in the movements and the formation of the offense and everything like that, but um, I do feel like both of those guys give us give us something in that position that uh, our offense can benefit from. With that said, with their size, do you like having a slot receiver with size? Does that, how does that benefit the offense? Well, I think it benefits the offense because, you know, uh, most of the time, a guy in the slot, he's running down the middle of the field or something like that. He's hanging over the middle where the linebackers roam. You know what I'm saying? So those big body types, you know, giving the quarterback a big target to throw to over the middle, I think that bodes well for our, for any offense, not just ours. Hi, Coach. Bash Guy Hurt with Carolina Blitz. Welcome to Charlotte. Thank you so uh, much. My first time speaking with you since you yeah. took the job. I was yep. just curious what you liked about the opportunity that you decided to, to, to come here. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a Southerner, you know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, I'm from the East Coast anyway. So, you know, Arizona's a little bit, uh, uh, little bit far away from home. All my family's in Jacksonville, Florida. But besides that, um, Frank Wright, um, um, that, that's, that's what it was for me. You're talking about a man of integrity, a uh, man who's won Super Bowls, you know what I'm saying, a top offense in this league. So I want to be able to attach myself, you know, my, hitch my wagon to, to a guy like Frank. Um, who's really an offensive savant, you know, and, and, and uh, that's what did it for me, you know, and talking to him throughout this whole process um, and hearing his direction of where he wanted to go, his vision for the offense, I uh, found out we had a lot of similarities. So, so it didn't take long. After about five, ten minutes on the phone with him, I was pretty much sold. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great. Looks like uh, we'll take one more. We'll go to Kelly Barton. Hi, Coach. Welcome to Charlotte. Hope you're doing well. Kelly Barty at ECCB. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kelly. I was just wondering what it was like having um, a guy like Steve Smith out there during rookie minicamp, just kind of working with, with some players. I saw him working with Bingo, teaching them little tricks of the trade. Yeah, well, you know, anytime that um, we as, you know, as coaches can have a former player come around and and, and be engaged with, with, the, uh, with, with our young players and stuff. I think that's a big advantage. You're talking about a guy like Steve Smith, you know what I'm saying? In my opinion, he should be in the Hall of Fame, you know, really. You know what I'm saying? He, he's a guy that, that really, during his era of playing, 
You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say he was small, but he played big. You know what I'm saying? So, so taking the skill set, you know, I have and taking the skill set that he has, and we're just trying to just, and you know, just just give these guys tools to put in their toolbox. So down the road and everything like that, we're trying to save them some of the pitfalls that we had uh, coming into the league early on. And I think that's a big, uh, that would be a big jump for a guy like him. You know what I'm saying? To have a guy like Steve out there going through uh, little nuances and stuff of the other receiver position. So he's getting it from me and he's getting it from Steve as well. So I think that'll help help uh, spark his uh, um, um, his learning curve, if you will. Do you think that's something that we'll see more of this season? Well, I hope so. You know, I'm a, I'm a guy that I played in the league, league a while. And anytime any any former player wants to come around and be around these players, I think it's a good job. I mean, I think it's a good thing. Um, I would like, love to see even more, more uh, former players come back and visit, not just this organization, but every organization. I think it's their way of, you know, being around and, you know, giving back to what the league has given us so much. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Coach Jefferson. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you.